Hi everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Kriteman. And what we're going to do this time through is we're going to make our own custom star field. Uh, now the process is pretty easy, and it's but it's pretty computer intensive, or can be. Uh, we're going to go ahead and kind of do these at moderate settings. First of all, let's go ahead and grab a, a light bulb and drop it in our scene. And let's go to our effects tab, and we're going to go to lens flare. And if you don't know by now, the bulb is going to be our star. Let's go ahead and pick star from the drop down menu and let's auto update and see what we look like. That's cool. But we're going to have to bring this down a little bit because we're going to make a whole bunch of uh, iterations of this. So let's go ahead and bring our brightness down to uh, 10. In the 10 range should be good. And everything else is cool for right now. Um, Let's drag this out of the way and let's drop a sphere in our scene. You see what's going to happen here? Um, and now that we've dropped the sphere in, let's go ahead and do our multi replicator and now it's all coming together, huh? We're going to um, take our sphere and uh, multi replicate these bulbs all over it and it really makes a cool effect. Uh, let's go and jump into our surface replicator and we're going to choose sphere as our source object and we're going to add bulb as our replicated object and that's good let's go into our sphere let's go to sphere motion and let's drag that up to 1000 let's drag it up to 2000 there we go. And let's jump into multi replicator again. And since our sphere is so big, let's go ahead and make a number of objects. Uh, 500. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Kind of gives it a story effect. But it's going to be very render intensive. I mean, even, my machine's uh, probably a, a medium to lower grade machine. And. Uh, yeah, just a, it only takes a few objects to start bogging it down. Let's go ahead and render. And you notice that it's all white right here. If I let it keep on rendering, it's just going to be a big white background. Um, let's go to our sphere. And we're going to make it invisible. Now, let's see what we got. Like I said, uh, I have a dual core processor and uh, you know it it can go pretty quick but uh, the whole filtering thing uh, takes a long time uh, while it's rendering too you can also well it ain't going to take very much longer there we go and then we have a nice that's kind of fakey looking but you kind of get the idea now I've got some examples of uh, of what we got Fill this up and loop it. And uh, if you spin it around, if you spin it around, uh, you could add other spheres to it and have kind of like a parallax effect. And then make it look like that you're cruising through space. So there's a whole bunch of things you can do with it, and uh, it's a very cool idea. You can use the star background in, in your uh, browser, but if you can do your own, you can do that too. Anyway, uh, that's it for this time. I'm Kripe Man, and I'll talk to you again later.